I look cute, girl. You are looking cute. Nobody can tell you nothing. Oh my God, Chi Chi, is that you? Oh my God, Beyonce has got nothing on you. Ooh, baby girl, you are looking cute. Hey guys, how are you all doing? I hope you all are looking cute. <laughs> I know you're looking cute. Yes, look at you. You are popping. You are slaying. You are a boss cutie pie. Don't let anybody tell you nothing. I always tell you guys, pick up your crown. If your crown fall, pick it up. Adjust it. Put it properly because nobody can tell you nothing. Okay? <laughs> Thank you guys for always tuning in. Thank you guys. I really love you guys. Like, what can I do without you guys? What can I do without you guys? Nothing. <laughs> okay, guys, today is banga to banga. You know when I say banga to banga? Yay! <laughs> okay, by the title of this video, you already know. Okay, your girl have been what? Will I say MIA? I don't even know what to say, but I have been so busy. Your girl have been busy. I have been busy filming on the beauty shanty, busy setting up my studio in Nigeria. So it's a lot of stuff interviewing people, guys. There's a lot going on in your baby girl's life. I have been busy. I've not been bringing to you guys banga to banga. You guys love it here when I bring you guys hot, hot. You guys love it here when I bring it to you guys hot, hot. Like hot, hot pepper soup. Guys, I don't know. For some reason, why do you guys just like gossip? More especially, you guys like when I talk about guys, when I talk about men, when I talk about men, I just like you guys come like, okay, the view is always like popping when I talk about men. Like, why do you ladies like talking about guys? Why do you guys just like us talking about guys? Like, why? Seriously. Mm? Why? Okay. Okay, guys. We are going to be talking about guys today. We are going to be, we are going to be talking about men because you guys love hot topic. Hot, hot. Okay. So, since you guys love banga to banga, your girl is here. You guys know I love to gist. This is my calling. I like to talk. I can actually talk and gist to save my life. <laughs> okay. So, guys, today, back to business. Let's get straight into the topic we are going to be speaking on today. Okay. Today's hot topic is going to be why men cheat. Why do men cheat? I don't know for some reason if you research this online a lot of people research why men cheat why men cheat why men cheat i know guys girls also cheat but but the percentage yeah the percentage when you compare them you will just say that guys has the majority let's say if girls have two percent or one point one boys have 99.9 .9, okay so this is why people search a lot about why men cheat today your girl is gonna be telling you guys you know i love to tell you guys i keep it real here and i will tell you guys okay so yeah let's get started first of all guys i want to use this opportunity to tell you that not every man cheat not every man cheat not every guy cheat not every boy cheat there are good men out there there are good guys out there good men out there beautiful marriages out there marriage is actually sweet sweet like butter sweet like what can i say honey it's so fun when you are with the right person okay so sweet so many nice guys okay nice guys out there i'm saying this because i've seen a lot of good guys like a lot of good guys there is one time at uh, a friend of us here yeah, his wife he he was married his wife is in nigeria and one of my friends was coming like he was putting like pushing herself you know to this guy this guy kept saying like no 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 i don't want to do anything with you because i already have someone in nigeria some guys will just take advantage you get what i mean and i've lived around people who actually like like you just see like there's a guy when i was growing up this guy his wife live abroad you will never see any girl come into his like his place this guy would just like mm, i have a girlfriend i have a girlfriend blah blah blah, blah. And so he actually finally married the lady and brought her to lagos okay there are good guys don't get this twisted very good also i have seen men okay who their wife you know is looking for the fruit of the womb like some people married like five years no baby you know they are struggling with fertility and all that and this man will stay 
you know, we stay with their wife. I actually know somebody who actually waited on the Lord for 10 years and the husband stayed by. This man did not have children outside. You know, we did not hear about anything like, okay, even the mom actually gave testimony when that for a mom to give mother to give testimony and start praising this guy praising this guy praying for this guy guys you will cry the mother of the girl was actually praying praying for the girl you i know you guys may be like oh my god the guy might be cheating you will not know the guy might be cheating you might you will not know and this is why we're, when we're, i'm gonna get to that point yeah let's say the guy is been cheating and nobody knows that is a guy that actually respects his family okay so anything for the for the family not to know blah 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 let's just say the guy is good okay yes so there are good guys very good guys to be honest i can go on and on and tell you guys instances example i have seen a lot of people okay yeah okay back to the story why men cheat okay first of all we want to talk about how they cheat okay how do they cheat how the cheating the cheating situation how if i proceed first of all cheating is not good and i know i said so many times like oh if a man cheats on you it's your fault because i believe somehow somehow you have played a role but it's not entirely your fault you don't actually have to be like okay if a man people cheat because they want to cheat and it's no one's fault you don't know what I mean? It's no one fault, but I just say take a little bit of responsibility just so when you meet the next person, you will know what to do better. Okay? Check yourself as well so you know how to do better. Because it might not be something you do, it might not be how you know you do or what you have somehow tolerated. You get what I mean? That is why I say that. But yeah, let's keep moving on. So now the ways men cheat. Ways they cheat. Let's talk about the ways they cheat okay for instance ways some people will cheat yeah some men will be cheating and their wife or their girlfriend will not find out okay those people i think those people who cheat and their wife or girlfriend do not find if you're dating a guy and he's cheating and you do not know there is no sign is because the guy love you the guy respect you the guy just don't want you to find out that he's cheating he doesn't want anything that will make you find out he will make sure he clean his path. In fact, cleaning his path, his footstep, he, or the trail will be his number one priority. Like anything that he has to do for you not to somehow even sense or smell it. Those people who cheat like that, they are just, they love you, but the devil is at work. This is how I will say it. Or oh, this is how I would like to say it. Then there's another group of people. Okay. That will cheat this second group of people ways they cheat they will cheat yeah and guys when they cheat you will just know they're cheating because they will carelessly cheat they will not they will not even hide it you know they will actually do it in your nose they will cheat under your nose like under your nose like this they will cheat under your nose this set of people yeah they will cheat under your nose okay and they just don't care they don't care about you they don't have any regards for you okay they don't even care if you find that because anybody that will cheat under your nose or cheat in, in a way that you will even find out for you to find out the person did not have regards for you okay period period okay the person did not have regards for you and that is why you can find out because if the person actually clear his path and the person is actually conscious for you not to know you will not even know okay the person you will not even you will not even know. First of all, the person will even tell the girlfriends that you must not call me. You must not call me. The person will even tell the girlfriend that you must not call me. My wife must not find out about you. You get me? The person will tell the girlfriend, my wife must not find out about you. Or the person will even tell, let's say for the guy is cheating, the guy will be like, oh, I have a girlfriend. Okay, and my girlfriend, we are very serious. And you just like, okay, that's fine, don't mind. And he will tell you, she must not find out about you. He must not call me out, must be for in no situation, in no anything, must you even call me. Don't even text me. In fact, this set of people, yeah, the first set of people, if you even mention, type any love message to their phone, they will call you immediately and tell you, 
please do not send me any love message okay those set of people the first set of people the, the, this second people will do the opposite of what the first ones will not do okay those are the second people then there's another people or another ways of way how people cheat the third set okay this is the third set this one are the most stupid idiotic people you can even imagine okay these are those there's those third, third set here yeah, this is them yeah those third sets will cheat okay not only do they cheat and they are careless around you and you will find out everyone and their mom will know that they are cheating like how stupid how stupid yeah these are the people will cheat yeah their friends will know their mom will know their sister will know their family will know their extended family will know in short let me even put it this way you know the sort of people when you're dating them here yeah, you will go to their house and everyone in the house knows about them cheating and you are just a stupid one you just sit down they're like i came to greet my boyfriend and you just sit down and everyone in the house just know that you are just you are just stupid because you're just there coming i came to see my boyfriend and everybody just know that this guy is cheating on you oh my god those people are the most stupid ones like so the second set will cheat obviously they are careless but only them know they're just gonna be sneakily going to the girl and, but only them know even though they don't have regard they don't respect you to be honest for you to find out because they are doing it on their nose but at least they are the only one that knows because they don't want other people around them to disrespect you because they know the moment other people around them knows that they are cheating then those people will not have regard for you. Like, come on. Imagine, like, okay, let me put it this way. Imagine going to your boyfriend's house, for instance, and everyone in the compound, everyone, their mom and their grandfather, their everybody just know that this person is cheating on you. And you are just this innocent one. Oh my god. This is just the person that hasn't got no regards for you at all. Also, this also happened in marriage whereby you are the wife, the trophy wife. You are sitting there being this nice wife. And this person is cheating on the, not only is he cheating on your nose, but everyone, their mom, grandfather, grandmother, family and friends, friends of friends, they know that this person is cheating on you because they are just proudly telling everybody and their mom, you get that, oh, I am cheating on my wife, I am cheating on my girlfriend, blah, 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 they don't care. And the thing people don't understand is that some people are just stupid. I don't know. When you're telling everybody and their mom and their grandfather and everybody knows about you cheating, how do you know? How do you even trust people to that extent? I don't trust people. Like, I don't trust people to that extent where I'll be doing something that I don't want. Like, let's say for instance, if I don't want my partner to know about something, I will not even tell my friend. And that's how secretive I am. That's how secretive I am. I will be going and be living la vida loca. My best friend will not even know. Because I don't trust people to that. Like, how can you even tell 100 people? Like, 100 people know about this situation. And you think you're, you're cheating? Like, you are just cheating and you're hiding and cheating? Like, seriously? Is that how you trust people? All these two people do this. Okay, yeah. Now that you've known how and ways, different ways people cheat at a different category, okay? Sometimes, yeah, first and second people, you can be like, okay, let me forgive you because it's the devil. But the last set of people, they are stupid people. I'm telling you this, stupid set of people. Okay, let's proceed. You guys, you love it hot, hot, hot. Your girl will bring it to you hot, hot, hot. I love to, what? To bring it to you guys hot, 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 hot. Okay, let's proceed. We're gonna be talking about why they cheat why men cheat okay this is the juicy juiciest of them all okay are you ready okay do you have your popcorn girl do you have your coke okay let's talk about why the first reason why men cheat is because oh guys because i know men will not like this video and i don't care i don't care some of you lot your mother will stop you from watching chief vlog but I don't care. You can watch it in the toilet. Watch it at work when he's not there. Okay, men will not. Men will not love this video, but nobody cares. Okay, okay. Let's proceed. The first reason why men cheat because obviously the obvious reason they are stupid, useless, idiot. They are what we call in Nigeria M U M U. That's mumu. 
because really and truly if you're not a fool like if you're not stupid why will you even try to do that like if i'm not stupid i'm not gonna try to do stuff like that only stupid people will even think of doing that in the first place because like seriously like when you want to spend your life with someone and you now go and be cheating like what are you been looking for like do you even have brain like do you have do you have is your mandula or blangata even working like do you even think about it like when you want to do the act do you even think about it like when you even start even taking someone's number first of all do you even take the number and go home and think about like oh i mustn't call this person even now having a conversation like you've already started cheating at that point like why would you do that that's stupid only stupid people will do that so that's the number one reason okay so that number one reason applies to everyone that cheats that's stupid like you have a girlfriend now you're gonna cheat with somebody that you can't even spend your life with you can't even live with this person you're cheating with it it's just like stupid like when i see girls do that let's for instance like a girl a married woman married to this nice husband and everything and the wife is now dating the gates man like how stupid how stupid like you are just like you are dating someone that cannot even buy your pampers and you're in your husband's house and your husband is treating you well i just look at those people like how stupid and this is some this is how some men behave they actually date someone they cannot see themselves spending the rest of their life with and they die and i'm thinking okay why like some people actually date like people like they know this person's lifestyle they know this girl she might be fine pretty and all that but they're like her lifestyle she you know she's just this kind of girl that actually sleep with guys for money and they know they cannot actually spend their life with this kind of girl but oh this girl is fine okay fine girl let me just you know date her you get and it's always a fling and they just want to ruin their life oh oh god okay that's the first reason stupid and idiotic okay the second reason is peer group okay peer group some people just want to cheat because they want just to belong you know some people just want to belong there's this kind of people they just want to belong maybe their friends are always telling that oh my god i cannot stay with one girl you know my i have a lot of girlfriend you know no 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 don't let women to be doing you anyhow don't let women to be ah women if you just stay with one woman they will just take you for granted you have to ah, please blah 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 you know and these are the kind of people that actually take their marriage lifestyle to go be telling friends and friends will tell them what to do and stuff like that they're like okay let me join this peer group so some people just because they just want to belong so they can talk about like oh me too i've got one babe Ooh, eh. and you know what the boy I, I used to laugh about this kind of people is this here this set of peer group here when they are in trouble yeah when they're in trouble this set of peer group will not even help them yeah i've seen someone that the, the person want to belong to this peer group and all of that kind of stuff and when the wife sent the person away the peer group cannot even take the person for one day they can't even live with the person for like okay come and stay in my house for one week they can't i don't know why people are just stupid like oh okay peer group that's it yeah even girls as well do that you know like you are cheating on your husband you're following this group of girls that can't even allow you to live in their house if your husband sent them sent you away they can't even give you borrow you hundred pounds like okay borrow me one thousand pounds that you're following they like peer group just want to join yeah just want to you want to chill with the big boys when they chill with the big girls come on now come on have some sense okay okay another one is some people cannot be satisfied on the bed if you know what i mean don't let me to be talking too much i don't want to be demoted i don't want to demonetize so then don't let me talk too much about that thing but yeah some people cannot just be satisfied on the bed with one woman you get me they just cannot not be or they're not getting what they want from their partner from their girlfriend their wife they just don't get it so they are always looking for always looking for that person they're like thinking that you know and this applies to people yeah these people set of people they watch a lot of what they call it a lot of porn okay these set of people they watch a lot of porn because they watch a lot of porn and when they watch things in porn they're like oh i i want to i want to experience this kind of thing i want to so they keep going and looking for that girl that can give them you know that, oh, i want to do this they don't because they are stupid like i said the first reason they just don't even know that these people are acting you know 
Like they are acting moving and they're like, okay, I think you know, I need to do this, I need to do this, this, this. And the thing people don't understand is this, yeah. And some people, there's a saying, I love to use this saying that they said, yeah, people always think the grass is greener on the other side, okay? They always think the grass is greener on the other side. And this is it, yeah. What they don't know is if you water your own grass, it will still be, it will also be green. Let me repeat that. People always think the grass is greener on the other side and they forgot or they forget, but they forget this, that if you water your own grass, your own grass will also be green, but they don't care to water their own grass. They just want to go to the other one that is greener. They, they don't even know that the simplest, easy thing they can just do is to water their own grass and their grass will be green how easy but no they start going and going about going about going about and guess what they never get it <laughs> they never get it this is why you see people married 200 wife and they're still marrying because <laughs> they never get what they are looking for because all they just need to do is do what water their own grass and their grass will be green yes <laughs> I used to hear men say, oh my God, my wife, when I touch her, she won't let me touch her. Oh my wife, I did it, she won't let me touch her. And I'm like, that's stupid. Like, that's absolutely stupid. You know why, yeah? If you treat your wife well, if you treat your wife like a queen, angel, before you even talk, say hello, she will only lie on the, on the floor. You get me? Like some people, some women, oh God, Especially in UK, some women will work. I know someone that work morning to night. She go to work, she do two different shifts and all of that kind of stuff. And when she come back, she will still do something. Like, she will still do, okay? She cooks as well. Then she will still cook and all of that kind of stuff, do business aside. And then, one stupid man will not like, when I touch her, she will say no. Why you stupid idiotic person do not actually go and work? you know get money that can actually sustain your family and this poor wife she's actually there trying to sustain the family and this is why she's working money tonight and everything sometimes when you're working and you're just working too much you just don't you're just not in the mood because the thing you're actually thinking is like okay where's the next shift who am i gonna call to give me the next shift who am i gonna call to give me the who is it let me call this manager so they can get so they're just thinking about the next shift the way to wake up you have to wake up in the morning and do this so that's all you're thinking okay you don't even provide, you can't even sustain your family. You can't even go and work and get things and sustain your family. And then you're not there complaining. When I did it in your chair, I'm like, how stupid. I don't understand. How do people even do that? Okay? I don't even understand. Like, people, I just feel like those people are just selfish kind of people. Like, to be honest, I'm not even going to lie to you. If you are a man, if you're a man, listen to me carefully. If you're a man, you go to work. You walk, 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 and your wife is there enjoying living la vida loca. And all she's doing is just eating and drinking. My dear, when you come back, I'm telling you this. And she you're just doing everything. Before her, before the car even spoil, you have already said mechanic. Before anything, you're already saying, Oh, I've bought you a new car. She's just living la vida loca. And she's not hustling. Okay? Women are not built for hustling. When women hustle, they, they use their brain to hustle and everything to hustle as well because that's not how they are built okay men can still hustle and still come back and do they do you get what i mean so are you not there seriously seriously okay i have three more reasons and these ones are juicy okay this one is more about money okay money 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 okay reason number one category money one men want to be with someone that does not know their past Okay, for instance, if you're a woman and you go and pick a madman on the street, homeless man on the street, and you clean the homeless man up and everything, and the homeless man is not living with you, you guys are working, you get him a job and everything, some, those kind of people, some of them, not all, I have seen someone that, oh my God, very good guy, but some of them, this is what they do, they just don't feel like, don't want to be with you because you know their past okay so they just don't want to be with you because you know your their history they just want to be with someone who they can proudly like oh have you seen my house have you seen my car da, da, da. so that they can feel like a big boy big boy around so some people just cheat just to be with someone else that doesn't know their past 
they can be like a big boy you know what i mean yes this is category money okay mm. because i don't even understand yeah you know why i say category money because i don't even know why poor people cheat like poor guys why do you even cheat like that actually drives me nuts when i see poor guys cheating like why do you even want to cheat like you're poor you don't even have money like yeah you don't have money you want to cheat like seriously what are you thinking like oh you don't have money you can't even you can't even feed your wife yes yeah? you can you can't even feed your wife you can't even feed your children you don't even have money and you don't have nothing and you're even cheating like let's not talk about them because i don't want to talk about them because those people we're not even talking about they're not in this category of cheating they shouldn't be here like if you don't have money why are you even cheating on your wife like your poor wife that's been there like seriously let's not talk about them we're not going to talk about poor men because poor men shouldn't be in this category in the first place okay yeah okay second to the last another category this category also want to feel rich okay they cheat because they want to feel rich you know for instance this category happened to people boss babe boss babe this always happened to them yeah this is why somebody asked me one day like oh my god if your successful men will not cheat on you and i look at them like are you serious i saw one motivational speaker saying oh you have to be very successful because your successful husband will not cheat on you and i'm looking at her like seriously men some men i always use some because not everyone like i said not everyone mm -hmm. so some men will cheat okay on their successful wife because yeah they want to be with somebody of a lower standard how do i want to, want to explain that they just want to be with somebody of a lower standard okay the other one i said to you the madman that somebody picked that one might want to stick with somebody of their car cause, okay but they just don't want some depend to know their history so they just blend up like rich 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 girl rich girlfriend so that nobody will come up like oh i brought you out from the mud but this category now they just want to be with somebody from the lower class you guess why you know what yeah you know their wife is a boss babe their wife doesn't ask them for anything nothing and everything so they want to be with that person that when they give that person one pound the person like oh my god my husband husband of the year oh my god i love you you have changed my life <sighs> so they just want to be with that person they feel accomplished like they have accomplished something when this person when they give the person five pounds the person will praise they're like oh my god <sighs> you get what i mean so this set of people they just don't want to, they, they, they feel like, oh, my wife is doing well, so I just want to chill, chill. like, go with the lower class girl that will be worshipping me when I give her one pound. So those people, they're just stupid, you know why? Because they have this inferiority complex, yeah? Inferiority complex, so they're just like, okay, if I be with this girl now, because now if I give her one pound, she will praise me, praise me, I will be, I will be the boyfriend of the year, you get me? So that's why they cheat. Do you see how stupid? Stupid reason, like I said to you, every reason that why they cheat are all stupid. You get me? So they're just like, okay, now because I've arrived, let me go and find someone that will be obeyed. They'll be like, oh my god! Woo! You get me? You get what I mean? Let's not talk about it too much, okay? Let's not talk about it too much. But I just don't know why this category behave like that. A lot of successful women, when they talk about it, is like, hmm. And this is why sometimes people always say this, yeah. Even if you're successful, yeah, always ask your husband money. If you're doing well, always ask your husband money. That is why you see some girls, yeah. Either don't blame them. Some women, when they work, they always say their their money is for them is for themselves. It's not for them to actually, you know, bring out in the house or something. They just won't be asking. They will still ask from their husband, and it's good. Because sometimes when you don't ask from them, they feel like okay, she don't ask for me. She's, you know you know independent she's independent so they just want to feel that thing where they'll just give somebody one pound the person will just be like oh my god yeah so if you're successful always make sure you still ask for your husband okay and when he give you job like even though you have one million in your account always ask him for 10 pounds 20 pounds and if he give you like thank you darling you know and stuff like that this is the last but not the least because you know what this last set of people are very rich wealthy very rich too much money too much money too much money okay or rather i would say the last the last because i still have one more reason okay 
this kind of this set of people here, yeah, they are rich, very wealthy, okay? So their money is just too much. They, they have they have buy their wife car, buy their wife house, buy their children house, the children, there's money in their account, plenty of money in their account. There's, there's still money remaining, like come on. They just like, you know what? I have no thing to do with money again. Let me just use it to play. You know, let me just use it to play. That, that is this these are the set of people that go to the club, buy drink one million, give girls one million, one pound, million pounds, buy girls car like the money is too much. So these people just cheat because the money is just too much. Okay? The money is just too much. And that's why they're just cheating. And you know, sometimes if you marry, if you happen to marry these kind of rich guys and the money is too much, and they just behave like that, it's because the money is too much. They just feel like, okay, let's leave. Okay, the last set of people, some people marry or cheat because of religion. You get me? Some people just have to marry because their religion say they can marry 100 wives, 200 wives. But I just realized that somebody told me that even people who marry a lot of wife, like religion, if their religion said they should marry a lot of wife, even when they want to marry, someone actually told me that even the others here, yeah, if they want to take another wife, they have to go to their wife, okay, and tell their wife, like, I want to take another wife, I'm actually looking for a wife to marry, it's time for me to take another wife. So, that if they don't tell the queen, and the queen will not give them, like, how will I say it, the queen queen will not give them the permission to go and marry another wife before they can actually be seen with any other girl or because if not that there's going to be trouble that they must consult the queen before so even at that if you see even people say oh religion permit you religion permit you they still have to actually ask the queen that oh it's time for me to take another wife for this so reason do you permit and all that sometimes the queen be like oh she'll think about it and she'll call it and say okay my husband is fine you can take another wife blah 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 and so there. So yeah, guys, if you know reasons why men cheat or marry several wives and all that kind of stuff, if they are not what in this what my commentator is it commentator narration or whatever I don't know what you can call this rant or oh, okay maybe rant, but yeah, write your own in the comment section. Beauty shine chick, chi vlog, popping queen, kitty popping boss queen. Signing out. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>